Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your general daily message for Tuesday, December 11th, 2018. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you are interested in a private one, all the information is down below in the description box. So let's just get right into this. This is quite interesting. Uh, you first start off whomever this is meant for with the King of Swords. So this is air quality. doesn't have to be uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. What I really go with is the overall energy of what I'm picking up here. I clarified this card, okay, and it is with the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel, actually it's this way, the way that I clarified it. Uh, if you take notice, he's literally turned his head looking at this. So in regards to the pentacle energy, in regards to happiness, abundance, uh, balance, big time balance, uh, the sword represents not just communication, which I do feel is a huge factor in this, but as well as thinking. It's in regards to thoughts. So I feel that somebody is reflecting in regards to that they have not had that balance in their life for quite some time is what that is saying, okay? I do feel that they are definitely holding back, back with exactly how they feel towards somebody with the high priestess here. A uh, very intuitive card as well, very spiritual as well. But I feel for this is kind of like somebody wants to open up and express. They've been holding back exactly how they feel because right after that is the Libra energy, which is the justice card. When you take the justice card with this card here with the high priestess, that tells me is that somebody wants to reveal somebody wants to open up and express they know that they have to okay is what this feeling is it's been dragging out a little bit too long especially with this knight of cups right after that justice card so the knights are slower pace in regards to the cup energy which is love all right they've been manifesting with their thoughts i feel with the magician here what we think is what we create and what they're thinking is for a fiery new beginning with the ace of wands here okay the thing that uh, kind of worries me in regards with the magician here, uh, this is the high, the <laughs> the empress here. The empress is known for the mother figure of the universe. Yes, okay. She's a very grounded individual. I'm feeling that this person is definitely thinking about because of the magician here, thinking about uh, this this relationship. Okay, that has been extremely slow to open up and express. Okay, how they feel. Now I clarified it, which is pretty wild because you have the nine of swords here so that is very mentally anguished it's known as the nightmare card swords represent your thoughts and you're surrounded by your thoughts okay I feel yes okay uh, I feel that there's telling me the owl the owl is a very spiritual it's very knowledgeable as well okay I feel that somebody feels that they need to open up and express uh, the knowledge of how this person really feels to their empress here okay and I feel that they are the ones, that King of Swords energy, I should say, the one who is deep in their thoughts, you know, manifesting, looking how slow this opportunity, this new opportunity for them is coming in at a slow pace. I feel it's getting to them. You know, I feel that it's getting to them with their thoughts, absolutely, because, and it was pretty wild, to be totally honest with you, I was, uh, I only take what's known as the jumper cards. And when I shuffle is, when they jump out is how I take them. I didn't take notice until I was completely done taking the outcome card and the clarifiers, okay? And I looked down and there it was. It was literally just like this, right on top of this card. So that was pretty wild. Uh, I didn't even see it until the very end. So this definitely signifies that somebody is kind of sad, okay? The Five of Cups is a very lonely, very sad energy in regards to wanting a change. A Five is known for that change. And they're entrapped in their head over... Uh, the person that they're meant to be with the empress is the mother figure she's like the she's kind of married in the in the spiritual world to the emperor okay this is the divine feminine energy here and i feel that this person who knows that the the um uh, they're in introspection, basically, about their thoughts, about realizing how slow this is and how they want to have this new beginning. They're manifesting to come clean, I just heard come clean, with communication, with information, especially with that owl, tell the truth kind of thing. Open up, reveal what is being hidden with that high priestess there. And I feel that they are very entrapped in their mind, very sad because they really want this change, which is now affecting their mind. The thing is, is if this is applying to your situation, you also have that magician. So I always caution people in regards to having 
like any kind of negativity, any kind of mental anguish, any kind of sadness, you're actually manifesting that. So what we think is what we create. So if you're stressed out or, you know, sad over this situation, try to release that mental anguish, okay? Try to release that sadness. Easier said than done, I realize that. But you're basically, by keeping that, you know, energy around you in regards to that sadness that's negativity so you're only creating more negativity plus you are literally blocking the energy to move forward you got to release that it's like a roadblock they're showing me this roadblock of this negativity that just keeps going on and on in your mind kind of thing you need to release that bring it up to the universe and say you take care of it you know believe in the power of the universe and how strong it really is you know once that is released that's when you can go through you know with this dream with this desire to speak this truth they're blocking their own thank you path okay they just said path and I feel that they're trying to be patient uh, with the temperance card here now this is Sagittarius energy you could be or you could be dealing with one uh, but I always take notice as to what uh, they're looking up at I do have a 10 card spread five above five below what's diagonal going up what they're looking at is the justice so they're being patient in regards to this communication in regards to opening up absolutely plus they have the Leo card so you could be or you could be dealing with a Leo regardless this this chick is literally turned looking at this temperance card trying to stay strong trying to keep the chin up but I do feel whoever this is meant for is definitely entrapped in their mind and they need to release that because what I feel is that uh, right underneath that King of Swords energy is the Judgment card. There's definitely a decision that this person needs to make, okay? That they're thinking about how slow it is. If they're thinking about where is my happiness, where's my balance, this is coming in way too slow. This card is a very spiritual card. It's known for a decision to be made. So I feel that it, they're supposed to be on their divine path, okay? But with that energy of the Magician and the Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups there, they have to learn to release that so that way they thank you they can be in touch with their intuitive side they can basically listen to what spirit their spirit guide everybody has a spirit guide uh, what they are trying to tell him or her to do okay uh, otherwise they can't hear you know they can't hear their vi vibration level is low especially when they're in that mental state of mind okay and I feel that they need to make a decision uh, that is kind of heartbreaking I clarified it with the three of swords uh, which is very heartbreaking for them to make I feel but I also feel, and it's not going to apply for everybody, uh, a third-party situation. Now, third-party, I have to throw this out there, third-party doesn't mean necessarily mean, you know, three actual people in a physical relationship. We're talking, you know, an intruder. <laughs> I don't know how else to put that. Like, you know, like a, a third party that shouldn't be sticking their nose in, you know, kind of thing as well. But there definitely needs to be a decision made that is definitely divinely guided. They're not on the right path, and I feel... The reason is because they're heartbroken because, you know, they're trying to have the strength to communicate. They're trying to manifest, but what they're manifesting is heartbreak, you know, mental anguish, sadness for this change. Learn to release that mental anguish and that heartbreak so you can go on your right path so you can hear your, uh, they just said clairvoyant, messages, uh, listen to spirit, you know, and you can't listen to spirit if your vibration level is low. So try to release that so you can rise, raise your vibration level up high. Spirit's up here, we're down here, you know, so you have to learn to raise your vibration level up to them so you can hear them. Do you understand? So that's what I feel is the big time message here in regards to, you know, making that decision, being able Able to listen to your intuitive side to you know release that mental anguish that heartbreak that that change that you want you have to learn to release that in order to go on your right path okay so in regards to the uh, the outcome here this has been taking forever okay which explains that knight of pentacles that's the slowest pace to me in regards to knights here that hangman is known for that stagnation in regards to that decision with the lover's card here lover's card is known for a gemini as well so you could be or you could be dealing with one but for the overall energy that just tells me that there's definitely been some type of stagnation in regards to making a decision in regards to love could definitely be, in, like I said, in regards to third party. Doesn't have to be, though. But somebody is ready, you know. They have the nine of wands. This card always reminds me of my son. He's 22, and he used to wrestle since he was five. You get that boy out, and he was really quiet. And But as soon as you, he hits that mat, and the ref is ready to blow the whistle, and you go, 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 he would have <laughs> annihilate them. <laughs> 
And people didn't understand that my son was so quiet and shy because they saw what he could take care of. But this is what this is. This is kind of like, I'm ready. I'm ready. Blow the rest, you know, the whistle. Let's go, ref, you know, kind of thing. That's that ants in the pants, you know, because they are ready. They're literally turned in their chariot looking. It's kind of like, look this the chariot's head is literally turned looking at this and it's kind of like i'm ready well yeah get in the car already you know make that decision you know they want this movement absolutely uh and i feel that they want to put in this effort to put in that decision so i do feel that you know after quite a bit of stagnation in regards to making a decision uh, i feel that they are more than ready now to make that decision to put in that work to make that decision but they also have to do you know what i was saying and explaining is that you have to release that mental anguish to clear the mind put that work into releasing that mental anguish and that sadness uh, you know, that fog that we all get in it at times to be able to, you know, they just showed me windshield wipers going, windshield wipers, like clearing this, this, uh, you know, the, I can't talk, <laughs> your windshield here to be able to see, you can't see. They're bringing up, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I thought that the inside of my windshield was dirty, right? For like, like three days. <laughs> that's just so horrible to admit. My daughter's like, no mom, that's on the outside. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> Your mother knows best, you know, all proud of myself. Well, she's, she was right. I pushed the windshield fluid and I could see again. You know, that's that energy for them to bring that up. Stupid me, right? I should have known. <laughs> I wasn't thinking and that's what I mean you, you know you get that fog you get that um, that sense that you can't think straight because that's you know you're bombarded with your thoughts okay so release that you know get the advice from the 18 year old to try the windshield fluid you know <laughs> as well but really it's kind of like you just got to release that that confusion that mental anguish and clear your head and think and think straight in order to make that decision put that work into yourself to finally make that decision is what this is saying stay strong stay patient it's coming to a close you just gotta release that okay keep manifesting only manifest good as well because what we think is what we create and nobody should really be manifesting sadness you know because that's that's that stuck uh, feeling that you will be in if you don't you know so that is what I have I hope that this truly helps you guys out there whoever this is meant for uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also click that little bell on the side to get updated information I do weeklies as well as dailies thanks guys and I'll talk to you soon bye